Hi, welcome to first time viewers and hello to returning subscribers. A few days ago, I reviewed the Dodge Challenger GT with all wheel drive, the truest muscle car of my generation. This design attracts my attention every time I see one on the road. There is something primordial in the proportions of Challenger. This is not the car of the male house cat. It is assertive and dripping with confidence, perhaps even a bit intimidating. But when you drive it, Challenger is actually a really quote unquote nice guy. Take a look at these splendid lines. On the inside, Challenger is superior in roominess, comfort, material quality, and functional design when compared to Camaro and Mustang. Don't be put off by the bolsters, these seats are very comfortable. The HK sound system is a bass factory. The steering wheel is thick and soft. I personally love the T-Shifter. Why don't all muscle cars have this? The infotainment is easy to use, CarPlay and Auto are here, and the gauge cluster is high-end. The visibility is okay, but it is difficult to see where the car's edges begin. Not too many rattles here, well insulated and quiet on the road. Challenger is a highway cruiser and can happily putt around town. A big car, what you see is what you get. It even has a huge trunk with space-saving hinges. Challenger starts at $33,000 Canadian with V6 and 7-inch infotainment, rear backup camera, and dual zone climate control. You can spend as much as you want and a variety of V8s are available. Many colors and wheels to choose from. We have this orange called Go Mango. It really looks good. A war machine. It is my first drive of Challenger. Impressive. It is why I see quite a few on the road despite the near European gas prices we have here in Quebec, Canada that, alas, diminishes the quality of life for all of us. The engine is a naturally aspirated V6 which makes 305 horsepower and 268 pounds of torque and I was yearning for a bit more in terms of highway passing power. Fuel economy stands at 12.8 in the city and 8.7 on the highway with an 8-speed automatic. American muscle cars are the total opposite of the bland and sexless CUV class. There are huge differences amongst them. Here are my thoughts on the road. Hello car lovers driving the 2018 Dodge Challenger GT, this one with four wheel drive. Um, a few things to say about this vehicle. It's so refreshing to drive muscle cars instead of always CUVs. They're all the same CUVs. They practically all drive the same. Uh, uh, apparently the RAV4 is very comfortable and the CX-5 is very sporty. That's not really the case. It's just minute differences. Whereas in the muscle car world, there are huge differences. So for example, the Camaro is almost a sports car now, whereas the Mustang is in the middle and this one is on the softer, more comfortable end. And that's not a bad thing. This car drives and feels exactly like it looks. It feels big. I have difficulty seeing the corners. It would take me some time to get adjusted for that. Um, it, it drives very softly, it feels very heavy, um, pretty good visibility. Um, the rear seats are actually usable for children, I think. Uh, they, won't want, they won't whine too much being there. Pretty good. On the outside, it looks incredible. It looks, I love this paint job. It's just a perfect orange. They nailed it, they nailed it. And there's all kinds of other colors available for you. Um, on the inside, it really works for me. Very comfortable here. Ross makes the remark that he is, he, he, it's very spacious here. I got plenty of room for my legs, plenty of room for my head. It's just, I can see all around, no problem. Nice, big, fat, soft leather steering wheel. Awesome to hold, really nice. Nice, big T shifter for the automatic transmission. You can rest your hand on it, great. Uh, the infotainment, easy to use. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, this car comes with the Harnam Kardam sound system. There's so much bass, you won't know what to do with it. So, really, that Dodge has thought about the comfort of this vehicle, has really thought about the driver and how comfortable he would feel. The suspension I'm driving in Lachine's shitty roads 
in Montreal it's one of the worst and Montreal is the worst so and it's it's handling it pretty well I'm telling you it, it, it is very comfortable the fact that it's an all-wheel drive you can drive this guy 12 months a year I know for you people in the south of the United States you don't care but for people north of the snow line driving a car only six seven months a year really sucks you're making the payments every month remember but you're not driving your car all the time for those of you who store your rear-wheel drive cars during the winter this is a really good alternative and it is unique in that offering Mustang doesn't offer four-wheel drive Camaro doesn't offer four-wheel drive so usable trunk semi-usable back seat four-wheel drive sounds like a winner of course this V6 maybe not the most powerful it does the job when you're driving around city it does the job however when you're passing it's it, it's okay it's okay it's you won't confuse it for a v8 this is a heavy car um of course this car drinks gas what do you want you know it's a big car it's a big heavy car with a v6 of course gonna drink gas if you want to pay more for gas you can always get a v8 and if you want to pay even more for gas you can get a v8 with a supercharger isn't that nice so uh dodge has got you covered from about $33,000 to over $100,000 in this vehicle. And those are my thoughts. By the way, if you're an owner, why don't you put a comment uh, to, see, to say if I'm getting it right or not. And that is the review.